Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me Karen and I am doing the final page in the ink house and this should be the last part of it. We're doing this page here. We um, were working up here yesterday. I've got the walls to do, this door here that goes into another room, the wall that's behind here, but all the walls and the ceilings are all going to be matching inked with um, scattered straw is what I'm planning on doing down here too like I've done up here. Um, I kind of finished this side of the ceiling and this area here. I have work left to do up here because I didn't um, show you how I was going to do everything other than darkening the shadows. We also have to um, kind of do something with our holes in the ceiling. There is a line that's down here that needs to be darkened because the holes are going up and he has it on to every single one of them. So we're going to darken those up. Um, let's see. We inked up the uh, floor just up in front of here and over on this side to give it a dirty floor look and to have your eyes go straight out to the door and we did a blue sky out here let's see what else did we do so today we're going to finish this roof part this door part the walls and then put in my favorite little stamp which is the itty bitty background stamp from stampin up they come in a uh, set of four i bought this off of ebay used to have a sticker on here so you could actually see what it looked like. But I mean, this is the small one that has the itty bitty dots. <laughs> the other three are bigger. I mean, they go up in progression. Some one of the first one has like big gigantic dots. And anyway, this is the small one that I love. So I use this all the time. In fact, it's kept in the drawer with my ink. <laughs> so I don't ever lose it. Okay, so we're going to bring in green gold, which is um, still in the brown family. <laughs> I'm going to turn the book probably in this direction so I can see what I'm doing. And we're going to get you down just a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we have the dark areas already mapped out and we did that yesterday with the um let's see burnt ochre or the <laughs> let's get the other one walnut brown let's see which one was it well either one of those would work <laughs> I think the walnut brown is a little darker, so we'll go on that. We're going to stick some of that up here in the whole area, too, on these. Can you see all of that? Okay. Okay. I'm going to tidy up my lines that I had put in yesterday just so they're nice and dark and not all over the place. Okay. So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. So I don't know what that connects with. <laughs> be a crisscross like this, so there should be a round one there, and this should be down, and it should be there, but a line should have been across. Who knows? There we go. Because it gets smaller down here.
There we go. I think I got it almost all done here. This one's going to curve and then kind of go off the page. So we're just going to kind of feather that off. So they look like they're going off the page. Then we're going to go in with the green gold. Trying to keep, because uh, there isn't green gold in the tree, the flavor of this wood just a little different. And it's a little brighter. Can put it on all of it. Kind of putting heavy pressure on this just so we get that color solid line on there. No, I don't mind if I go out of line. Doesn't bug me any because we're going to be shadowing in this area up here too. And if I go out of line, it's just part of the shadow. Okay, go off the page up here. This would probably go up at that angle about here so we'll just kind of make it do that we'll darken that and now if we're on the top of the triangle what's on top well I wouldn't know because I don't see one there <laughs> okay then we're gonna take in a little brown ochre and we're just gonna shadow some areas Like where the tree is. in here too where that is cracked anyway we'll keep working up over here. And 
and then we're gonna bring in um, yeah why not uh, a little burnt sienna just add a little bit of that here and there gives us our wood texture. I'm going to go up alongside here and darken that up a little bit and bring that color down. All right. That helps that wood. We're going to work on that little door here. I think it's a door. It's a door frame. So I'm going to put some of this in here. Okay, then some brown colors. Brown ochre. Door frame. <laughs> okay. A little Van Dyke brown. A little bit of cream. Just blend that in together, especially around that door frame. brown raw umber it's going to darken out to that branch Sure you have it all coated up here. And we'll bring in some walnut. Yeah. <laughs> Need a 
point on that too. A lot of points in this book. <laughs> if you're going to make the door look like a door. <laughs> I'm going to put a little corner there and pull apart a little piece there. A little corner over here. And keep that in the frame. Okay, that's a piece of wood that comes down there. Put in some grain in that. Oops, book is sliding around. Uh, this is the brown ochre. Probably play around with that a little bit more. the other rooms. <laughs> okay, this wall here, scattered straw. Base coat, so we're just going to put some down on that and make sure it looks kind of that golden yellow everywhere. And in here. Not sure what room this is. I looked, but doesn't seem to be a room that we've already colored. Okay, make sure everybody's got that color on it. Gonna take a little bit more of this down this way. Just around those trees a little bit. Over on that side. Okay, we're also going to add some up here. And then up here. It's all up there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Darken that up a little. Okay. Okay, we're going to take in the green gold and we're going to shadow in these areas. A little bit.
and see we have just used those little over inkings it's a nice little shadow spot We're going to turn the book again, make sure that these are darkened. Okay, I'm liking that. Uh, I'm just darkening this corner. Remember, we're going to put spots on this so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right. We're also going to darken this area here. Just go all over everything. To get some color up there. some color too. There is a footboard down here, a footboard over here too. We're going to darken that up. So we're going to stick some of that in there. Got some kind of floorboards over here. So just add some wood tones to the floor.
Okay. Now we need to double check everything. Make sure we have all our colors straight. This is a little of the burnt sienna. We'll put a little of that in the staircase. extra shadow up in here. We're going to pull in a little green into the rocks a little bit more. We're also going to outline the little walkway that comes in here. Bring in a little tiny bit of the yellow ochre. Bringing a tiny of that blue that reflects into here. Just a very light, light coloration there. I'm going to bring in a touch of dark cadmium yellow down in here too because that's brightness coming in when we want to make this a little brighter. not going to hit there, but it's going to hit this one. And it'll probably hit over here. Okay. Now we're going to take our little stamping stamper here. We're going to go in with um, both of these colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to bring in a sheet here. We're going to stick it under. The darker areas we're going to go in with the uh, gathered twigs and the lighter areas we're going to go in with the uh, scattered straw. So we're going to start with the scattered straw first. Make sure we got the coloration we want. And we're just going to stamp it in some areas here. If we don't think it's dark enough, we're going to add a little of the gathered twigs in there. Over here, 
down in this area and in here to bring in uh, what is this the Stadler pigment liner number one and I'm going to make some more cracks up here on the um, ceiling up where these guys are I'm going to pull some out I got some over here too. I can put a few more in there. I'm gonna put one over here. It's like the wallpaper is torn, so we're gonna put a little hole. here and there. Let's see. We'll do one up here. Maybe on this too.
Yeah, I like that. Okay, here we go. And that will be it. That is our last page in this book. And the last page I needed to do. So, next uh, video you will see me do a flip through of the whole book. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye now.